Gritsenko in one, Yang in two, Pio in three, Fairbank in four, Arce in five, Lakatos in six, Krungert in seven, and Seaman goes in lane eight. So the noise stops, the athletes are ready, and they get away, and all get away really well. Lakatos has already moved up on the inside of Pichet Grunget of Thailand. And working his way around in lane three is Pongsakorn Payo. He's flying out in front. Here's the man from Thailand. He's already picked up gold in the 100 and 400, and it's very important in a race like this, especially with the weather like this, he's trying to get out in front, and that's exactly what he has done. And Brent Lakatos has just moved slightly to the outside. Many times they'll try and sit in the slipstream of the athlete, but in weather like this with the water flicking up, sometimes it's a bit easier to do what Lakatos has done and just go around the outside and go for it. And he'll go down and take the belt with Paya in second place as they go across the line. And there is 400 metres to go. And he's Brent Lakatos out in front. He's just eased up somewhat there just to let... Long score Pio, see what he'll do. And the Chinese athlete Yang tried getting through on the outside. And well, Pong Scorn Pio has put on the afterburners himself and gone round with around 200 metres to go. And it's Pio out in front and Brent Lakatos in second position. And it's become a race in two with 150 metres to go. Pong Scorn Pio in the number three helmet of Thailand. He's picked up two gold medals already. He's being chased by Brent Lakatos, the world record holder and world champion. But Lakatos is not going to catch Pongsagorn Pio and he's going to pick up his third gold of these championships and a new Paralympic record, which has stood since 2008. It goes to Pongsagorn Pio of Thailand. Seaman goes across and finishes, but there is the winner and his silver medalist on the right. Pongsikorn Pai of Thailand, the reigning Paralympic champion, has retained his title and he's picked up a third gold medal of Tokyo 2020. You see Lakatos shaking his head. He couldn't get there. He picks up a third silver. So this is difficult conditions indeed. The rain, the water flicking up. But Pongsikorn Pai is one in the good weather here in Tokyo. He's won in the appalling weather as well. An all-round athlete. In third position, Pierre Fairbank of France. At 50 years of age, has picked up another bronze medal, the same as he did in Sydney 2000, but it's Pongsikon Pio with the gold and Lakatos of Canada with the silver. Look at those conditions. Surface water galore, and to get a Paralympic record in conditions like that that has stood since Beijing 2008 is quite incredible indeed. Thailand have got great pedigree in this race and in the T54s, and Pongsikorn Pio has picked up a Paralympic record 136.07. <laughs> yeah, they came around the first time in that tight single file, reminded me of Formula One in the rain. It's only the guy in front who can see what he's doing. But then they spread out, and it was a little easier, but not easy to catch this man. Well, Lakatos went wide early on, and he went round to the front, and I think he thought, I can't be sitting in the slipstream here because it's just too much water and there's too much surface water flicking around, and he'd be worried about someone going around the outside. So he tried it, but Paul Sikorn-Pio, with around 300 metres to go, just went back out to the front when there was some jostling there, and he picked up a new Paralympic record to boot. A day when the slipstream is almost literally a stream. 